Prima Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Empress Palace in Boxburg in Gauteng is underway with the construction of one of the largest rooftop solar PV plants in South Africa. Completion of the rooftop plant is set for August this year. Mia Breitenbach tells us more. The solar PV initiative, which focuses on power generation, is one of several greening initiatives which has been undertaken at Empress Palace. It forms part of the dedicated sustainability program to reduce energy and water consumption, decrease waste and promote recycling. The plant will cover about 7,265 metres squared of the current roof space. It is expected to generate about 1.9 megawatt hours a year of electricity. The plant will be a grid tied solar PV system that would produce power alongside the Ekuruleni municipal feed. Construction of the plant started in February. As of last month, construction was 50% complete. Energy engineering solutions provider Terra Firma Solutions is responsible for constructing the plant. During a tour of the plant, Terra Firma Solutions project manager and electrical engineer Ian Nelson explained the route to the plant's construction. Empress uh, gave us the brief of uh, they needed a one megawatt plant. They gave us uh, some drawings. Uh, what we then did is we assessed some areas, we looked for the higher yields. We, made a, we did a proposal, a layout drawing. We took that through to the consulting uh, engineers, both structural and electrical, for their approval. After that, we started the procurement of that. A detailed study was conducted to see if the roof could support the weight of the solar panels and associated equipment. Consequently, the plant would be split up into smaller plants or arrays across five different roof sections. Nelson also explained the outlay of the plant. We've looked first at the buffet roof. That's a smallish section of the plant, uh, about 124 kilowatts at peak. Then uh, we moved on to the theater. We went, which that's going to be about 156 kilowatts at peak. From there, we looked at the retail section. They're both lower and upper. Altogether, we're looking in the region of 400 combined for those. Uh, we've also looked at the buffet's inverter bank. Those are where we convert the DC solar power to AC power that can be used and consumed through the plant. The modules we're using are Canadian solar modules. These are tier one modules. So they're a nice high spec module, good quality, good traceability. Uh, inverters we're using on this project are the SMA. They're also a nice high quality product, very good comms integration. And those are the main components. The rest is all locally sourced cables, DB boards, and products like that. About 4,000 solar modules of sizes 315 watts and 250 watt will be installed. These will be connected to the 37 inverters to regulate the current for power supply. About 18,000 meters squared of cabling is required for the plant. Terra Firma Solutions marketing manager Fred Hagelberg noted at the plant's launch last month that the energy generated would equate to about 2 million rand of electricity savings a year at the current tariffs. The plant's generation capacity also has the potential to supply more than 9 million hours a year of slot machine time. Once the plant reaches peak production, it is expected to produce 15% to 20% of Empress Palace's electricity needs. I believe that this is one of the bigger projects uh, in the country and certainly on uh, casinos and we're very proud to be doing it. Terra Firma Solutions is also considering the potential of expanding the plant in future. Other news making headlines this week. Equipment suppliers strengthens bonds with German companies. The continued quality of German products has allowed Boxburg-based capital equipment and consumables provider Alquip Solutions to thrive in a challenging local market. Well, we find that uh, the, the market uh, has an appetite for good quality products and uh, products that we source out of Germany are very specific to the industries we serve. So uh, when, we're, when we're making uh, recommendations or demonstrating these products, uh, our customers understand uh, the, the results that, that come from these products and we find that, uh, that they're, they're quite happy and ready to use them. The steel industry in, uh, in general is a, is a user of our products, in particular the tube and pipe industry. So where uh, there is harsh environments, um, huge production uh, 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 pressures put onto the, the capability of the products, our German products are, are well suited in that industry and you know, we continue to find uh, new solutions from Germany for that industry, for the steel industry. When the market uses our products and they, they measure the, uh, the results, 
they actually find that uh, that was good investments and they're delighted with the product and generally what happens is once they start using the product it becomes the norm and we find that we we, we repetitively supply the same and consistent uh, product over and over again to the industry. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Reports. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.